Ever since I was a kid, I was always involved in fashion in some type of ways. As I was growing up with my mom, I would always help her with her, her embroidery since she was a seamstress. I would do things such as help her thread the needle, and that was the first time I was ever involved in the fashion industry or anything related to fashion. I always thought that it was a chore and didn't really enjoy it and always hated it. Nevertheless, I was glad to have the experience that I had because now that I think about it, it's really useful even though some people doesn't think so. I have started drawing ever since second grade. For some weird reason, I was really good at it, or at least that's what other people told me. I think that being able to draw is God's gift because there are so many things that can be expressed through a painting or a drawing that words can describe. Some might say that a painting is worth a thousand words, but to me, every one of those words is in existence. As I grew up, I started drawing even more and more, but I never drew anything that was just close or anything that focused on it. I only started doing so in my junior year of high school, and the only reason why is because I took a fashion class. I was really glad to sign up for it because it provided me opportunities that I wouldn't get to have if I didn't take it. I think that if I never took this class, I wouldn't have ever thought about majoring in fashion or doing anything that relates to it. One thing I really enjoyed about this class was I was able to participate in the fashion show. I was able to team up with someone else and make a dress. I spent a lot of time and effort on this class and I'm pleased to have done so because to me, this doesn't seem like a job. In my fashion class, there were many projects that I enjoyed doing. The ones I loved were mostly sewing projects. Whether that was because of me having my mom or what, I'm glad to feel what I'm feeling about fashion now. One project that I highly regard is the fashion show project. I spent a lot of time arguing with my partner about it because I really wanted to make the dress look like the way I wanted it to be. As the dress progressed, I made even more changes to it. And one of those changes is to add fake petal flowers to the top of the dress. This one change was really time consuming because I had to hand sew on everything and I think I used about 400 petals. After I finished, my partner helped fix it up and add on touches to it. On the day of the fashion show, we were both freaking out because we had to redo the whole bottom completely because it looked really weird on our model. However, it wasn't just us that was freaking out. Everyone who was involved in it was too. It made me feel like I was really in a real fashion show. I want to become a fashion designer, but a lot of time my decisions waver because of outside influences, but also because of my uncertainty. One reason that might be an obstacle to being what I want is my family. I really don't want to disappoint them. There's only a handful of fashion designers who actually make it to be famous, and I feel that I don't want to be one of them. Another reason to why I think twice about being a fashion designer is because the school that I want to go to is really far away and it costs a lot of money. Money that my family doesn't have. I know that if you really want something, there's nothing that can stop you. And because I really want to become a fashion designer, I know that I will get through the roadblocks that are ahead of me.